Hello, YouTube. Uh, right. Let's get the camera in a bit closer. Right, been an interesting uh, day. Let's get this started. And uh, right, here we go. Uh, right, uh, I picked up in a shop for a tenner in a charity shop, and these were eight times that amount. Uh, first edition Battle of the Planets uh, DVD box set, as you can see, it's going round. It's very nice. Uh, Battle of the Planets were taken from Gatchaman, and it was altered quite a great deal. Uh, to show to like English, American, especially the American markets, they, had, they added Seven Zark Seven, and uh, the altered the stories because in Gatima it's quite deep stuff really, especially with Zolta or Galacto. I think the organisation not called Specs, it's called Galacto, and they've got the Supreme one or whatever. I, I, I've only seen a couple of the Japanese ones. Uh, I grew up on this. To me, I know it's this is the one I want. Uh, big fan of this. The artwork is superb. It's second to none. As you can see, I've got some on now. It, it's dated, obviously, as dated. You know, the old Battle of the Planets thing. But I picked this up for a 12 quid in a charity shop. It's worth 130 quid on eBay. Now, I know they've made remake box sets, but this is first edition. And for some reason, I'm going to have to research it a lot more. It's very collectible. Uh, so, right. Battle of Planets, I do remember the soundtrack. Da -na 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 -na. You know, remember them amazing credits started when you were a kid. It was like watching a, it, each episode when I was a kid, but like watching a 25 minute movie, do you know what I mean? All five acting as one, dedicated, inseparable, invincible, you know. Battle of the Planets coming to you soon. Uh, I know they made uh, a live action version uh, in 2013. I've never seen it. I remember there was some live action footage going around in uh, early 2000s. I've seen the clip a few times, but it won. It was an advert, and a lot of people thought it was the trailer, which was quite annoying. But yeah, so what do we get on this? Uh, bonus material, uh, movie mini furniture feature. New animated promo 2004, art gallery from original drawings, official biographies, plus more. 12 discs over 35 hours of viewing. I mean, that is pretty fucking good, isn't it? Right, so let's anyway, let's take it off. That's the box, it comes off. There are all the discs in there. So let's have a look at the artwork on the covers. Yeah, pretty standard artwork. Uh, as you can see, there's Tiny, uh, the back, just vast amounts of episodes and extras. Let's, are they, let's see if the discs are covered. No, the discs just say Battle of the Planets. Is that on all of them? Yeah. So anyway, that's. Uh, let's see what extras we've got on this. Starring Alan Young with Neve Lonnick. Oh God, yeah, Casey Kasem, yeah. Do you remember America's Top Ten? Uh, Yet yeah, written by uh, G Force, uh, G Force Profile, Tiny Harper, Phoenix Pilot, Call Sign Six, G Five, Age Eighteen, Height Five Six, Weight will we'll go into that. You might go upset. Uh, Color Brown. I mean, it's just basic main weapon, brute strength. That's what you will know, obviously is a big lad. So that's Tiny. Uh, I don't know. Mark and Jason were an interesting mix. As Mark being the leader and Jason wanted to be second, you know, uh, yeah, Mark, commander of G-Force. I mean, you, you know, it was so bad, but I mean, the artwork, yeah, I do like the artwork on the covers. I, I think uh, Dungeons and Dragons were a lot better, the artwork on their video covers, when I reviewed that. Uh, there we go, there's more G-Force, that's a nice one. I'd, I said that would be quite nice frame, that, I do like that picture. I, I, I've got to admit, my, my favourite character was Keop, you know, and come on, we all fancied Princess as kids, didn't we? Uh, there we go, there's a nice shot of Princess like that. I've seen, uh, was at a con uh, last year, I met a few people dressed as G-Force, which the costumes were amazing. So there's Princess, uh, Keop on that cover, and... Uh, there we go, Princess again, so that's, oh there's Mark, 
second in command uh, yeah weapons tactical navigator G2 yeah I mean yeah for what you get for this I remember this when it came out in 90 uh, I think it was late uh, early 2000s uh, I think it was quite cheap when it come out but honestly it's, uh, I mean I've seen it on eBay retail 130 quid uh, and I looked cheaper and the, I thought the cheapest one must have been 80 so I mean you know it's quite interesting for 10 quid I haven't done so bad I will probably will trade it or swap it at some point like I said uh, I, I mean I love the Phoenix I actually had the Phoenix toy actually and had some G-Force figures years ago but I don't know what happened to them and from what I've checked a lot of the stuff is quite expensive do you know what I mean but it, whenever I'm not really I'm not really a manga fanatic uh, I like some manga uh, but to me, this was my defined. This is my manga for me. Uh, G Force is a couple of other things I like. I've never really jumped on the manga band bandwagon. Uh, I did watch the Channel Four season of all the horror manga film when they had the manga season, and I've got a couple of manga stuff as well. Vampire Day, superb. Uh, but yeah, anyway, back to Battle of the Planets. I love the background of the Earth organization. Uh, there's the robot and the dog, the hovering dog, get on your nerves after the fuck. After about eight episodes, you just want to get fucking rid of them. Do you know what I mean? The, the cute factor's not there anymore. Maybe it's because I'm older. Uh, the artwork, still superb, but in certain aspects, it is it is dated. Do you know what I mean? Centre Neptune looks cool. But, I mean, when you get them all together and they're doing the thing of transmute, uh, you know... It's brilliant. I mean, this program with the forefather of Power Rangers, Beetle Bogs, all the fucking countless pointless rip-offs we've had is all from this. Do you know what I mean? This is the daddy of it all, is G-Force. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to see the live-action version, which I'm really looking forward to. Still trying to hunt it down, actually. You can't see it and buy it anywhere. I've been on eBay looking for it and I can't find it. So if you do find it, please let me know. Give us some more information on this. Uh, this is my review of, of, of uh, G-Force, uh, Battle of the Planets. Uh, the complete series includes all 85 episodes, which was 105 actually. They actually cut off, I think, about 10 episodes because uh, Zoltar, uh, as in Battle of the Planets, is, is apparently uh, transgendered, uh, so which is interesting. But back at the time, they had to change all that. So, we only got 85 episodes, but there is an ending to this, apparently. So, I might watch the final episode and see what happens. But in the Japanese version of Gatchaman, it's, oh, I think it's 105 episodes. So, and, and apparently we're a bit too hardcore to put, they couldn't edit it down to make any more. So, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. They did make a couple of edited G-Force movies, what they put together. Look, the stories are pretty basic, they're all the same thing. Silly fucking monster running about after something. Spectre turns up there behind it. Zoltar's on, on planet Spectre. And, and, and you know, G-Force get called in, they get caught, and then they save them. Then they stop. There's a bit, what I like about it, in the, in the final battle, when they're battling something, it's like a big intense battle going on, which is quite powerful, you know, for the moment. Uh, I'd like to know a lot more about Zoltar's character. I've read about him being Galacto and uh, the organisation. In the Gatiman universe, which is interesting. But what I might do is actually get the Gatiman episodes and, and, and sit and watch a big chunk of them and actually review them at some point. But they're on YouTube, so that's the beauty of this. This is on YouTube to watch, so you don't need to go out and buy it. If you want to watch all of it, they're all on YouTube. So uh, please share and subscribe. That is my Battle of the Planets Complete Series overall review, which I'm going to give it 5 out of 5, definitely. Five out of five, there's a couple of flaws. I mean, don't forget, you know, you're talking, it's nearly 40 years old. You know, but I grew up on it as a kid, loved it, and that's it. Still like some of it now, but I'd, it would be good to see a new version. Uh, obviously, they're going to do it. It wouldn't surprise me. I've heard they are. So that's it. So please share and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Uh, that's it, really. What more can I say? All right. Have a good one.